Who doesn't like a rack of lamb? Yes, your bud. Smoke show and stick around. Hey, it's Pete with Backdraft Barbecue. Today we're going to cook a rack of lamb on the BGE. It is going to be phenomenal and it's super fast and easy to make. Let me walk you through it. First things first, get the egg going and what we have to do is we have to sear these lamb chops. So I'm shooting for 400 degrees. Now I'm using a secret weapon in this case, which you may not have, and that is a cast iron plate setter. If you don't have one, one of these pans without the handles will work just fine. But what we need to do first is we need to sear the edges of the lamb chop so that it removes that gamey flavor to it. So let's get going. So first things first, take the lamb out of the package and uh, give it a quick rinse off just to get any junk that's on it. And we're gonna season it up real quick with olive oil, salt and pepper. That's it. That's all we're going to use for the sear. All right. Now that we got this going, we're going to get it on here. Remember when you're opening the egg and it's hot, burp it. We're going to put just a little bit of seasoning oil on the on the uh, cast iron and then we're going to sear this. All right now we're going to you want to sear the tips of these so I usually just like make like a little teepee Let them sear for a minute. Who doesn't like this noise? rock a -bye, baby on the grill top. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> now that we got these seared up, and searing's important because it removes that gamey fat flavor, we're gonna take these off. No. Remember, a clean grill is a happy grill. We don't use soap on these. That's why I like my grill badger Palmyra brush, grill badger. Now we're gonna put a grill on here so we're not searing them anymore. And we're gonna take these and we're gonna stick them back on here to cook the rest of the way. Now we're gonna aim for an internal temperature of 120 degrees. I always like to see where I'm starting with these. So we're at 75 degrees, so these got a little ways to go. Man, what is that thermometer? It looks sink. Oh, this is one that these guys sent me called Chef's Temp. They wanted me to try it out. It's a cheaper Insta pen. Uh, I'll throw the link in the description for you. Mint bug. Yes, yeah. Sure. Dust these with some Parmesan cheese. Just a dusting bug. Let it snow bug. Three to six inches. Now you got a little bit more salt on there. A little more pepper. You're doing that, bud. Yes, sure. Parmesan cheese, eh, bud. Oh yeah. Whoop, almost there, bud. 110 there. 110. We're almost there, buddy. Looking like a hot supper. It's gonna be a hot supper. Hey Duke, you want some Parmesan encrusted lamb chops? Who's a good boy? Whoa, we gotta take these off right away. They're done, buddy. Oh yeah. And now, tent them with aluminum foil. Nighty night. And we're gonna let these rest 15 minutes and that's it. It is now time to carve the lamb chops. They've rested for 15 minutes. And we're gonna, just like we're cutting a rib, we're gonna go in between the two sections with a very sharp knife. All right, let's see. We got one. Who wants to try it first? I do. <laughs> the cameraman needs to eat. Junior's eating more of my barbecue. Wow, this is so good. 
Oh yeah. Ah, Fogo de Chao, where are you? Mmm. Mmm. It doesn't even taste gamey. Sear the fat off and it's great. All right, Junior, what do you say? We go inside and eat the rest of these? Tastes like more. Yes, you're wicked good. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, bud.